This nigga was so good to see you. I miss you so much. So glad it's over. I miss you so much. Came out to watch you play. Oh, why are you running away? Chris Cornell, holy fucking shit. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I know it's for charity. Forgive us our sins. We acknowledge your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Anyway, people, I'm sure many of you have seen by now the ticket prices for the Cornell Tribute Show in January. And when I saw them, all I could say was, holy fucking shit. Let's take a quick look, shall we? Now, when you go to Ticketmaster, you'll see prices like Section A, Row 3, $1,505 each. And then there's this. Section C, Row 3, $8,505. I don't know about you, but I don't care if it was the best band ever. Um, I ain't paying 8.5 G's to see them. Just ain't doing it. So yeah, I'm getting the sense, and I think most people are getting the sense, that this is going to be a party night for the stars. And I know, it's for charity. So you can justify prices like that, right? Now let's take a look. Section A, row 4, $1,505. Let's see what that looks like. If you look on the map here, you'll see the black is the stage. You've got section A through E are those first five sections in front of the stage. So that's where you would be for $1,505. Let's pick a different one here. Section B, row one, $4,505. Let's click on that. That's where you would be for that, where the purple circle is. Remember, the black thing is the stage. And let's see where you would be for $8,000, shall we? Section C, that's right in front of the stage. That's that center section. And let's do one more before we go to the other site. Section B, row two, $5,505. Let's see what that looks like. Section B, just off center there. Now, I tried to find, like, other areas of the arena on Ticketmaster. I just couldn't even find it. It seems Ticketmaster got the most uh, pricey seats, let's say, the, the, the more choice seats for the elites. Now, if you go to this other site, CheapTickets.com, You'll see things like upper 210 row 23, that's $332. So basically, for nosebleed section, let me show you what that looks like. See that glowing one there? Basically the last section, top tier, off to the side of the stage. You're talking almost $400 for one ticket. Let's look at some other ones here. Let's go to upper 
find another section five six hundred and twelve dollars upper 228 row six that's off to the other side of the arena very top six hundred dollars nosebleed beautiful huh see some other prices here floor one six hundred and sixty dollars floor one there's a floor section in the back by the soundboard or where the soundboard usually is see that glow in there you got section one two three in the back of the really choice seats Got a little handicap insignia there. That's $660. Floor G, $724. Upper 208, $800. Let's take a look at that. Again, that's over to that other side. Very top. See it glow in there. 800 each. Lower 135. 906 each. 906, mind you. That's right behind those floor section 1, 2, 3. I guess you're on the first upper level. Handicapped accessible. For a low cost of $900. Let's get into these 1000s here. Floor B, row 9. It looks like as you get to row 9, 10, 11, 12, the price drops down to just over $1,000. Floor A, row 9. Floor A, row 9. Do that. $1,102. Let's get to the most expensive. Here we go. Floor C, row 12, $2,397. So that's center section right in front of the stage, row 12. And the costliest one I see, if floor C row 14 is $2,730, floor C row 10, $4,507 each. And let's make that the last one we look at. There's that center section again. Almost five Gs for row 12, four one ticket. Fascinating, isn't it? Definitely not a show for the common man. And uh, these prices don't surprise me. And of course, some of the proceeds um, that are attempted to be kept on the down low go to the Chris and Vicky scam, I mean foundation. Sorry, that's a Freudian slip. And all I can say is, holy fucking shit, infinite boundless greed. And I was thinking of how charities work. Why all, why all these rich people have charities? I thought of this many years ago. Do they collect money from others? Then donate that money in their name and then write that off on their taxes? Just a thought. So remember, when you give to charity, you write it off on your taxes. Let's say you make $10,000 in a year. You give 5,000 of that to charity. The IRS looks at you as you only made $5,000 that year. I'm truly wondering what loophole in the tax code um, is used for these foundations. And then you have the fact that they don't get taxed at all um, on the money they take in.
and it just saddens me to see a show like this that it costs so much money and it's basically just going to be a party for the stars that night. And it's not even something I would want to necessarily go to, but you know, 8,000 a ticket and so the cheapest tickets are what, $400 around that price it looks like. Yeah, um, I don't think the common man's going. Whew. I'm still stunned by the prices, I'm sorry. And remember people, please hit the PayPal, don't treat it like a stepchild. Um, you don't have to give $8,000 for charity. Um, and if you like the content and you like the video, hit the like button. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, and don't forget to subscribe to the backup channels. Very important. Peace be ever with thee.